One. So I want you to face them. Bring this foot back first. We're going. Drop it now. Good. Good. Two drills. Drop. Open. Nice job. Nice job. Keep going, guys. On you. Keep going. Um, one thing we'll talk about here with our guys defensively is that we will, we will give up space on the first dribble, and it will take it away. We'll take it back in the second dribble. Okay? So we will allow that defender uh, a little bit of space from us as he attacks in that first dribble again to protect our hips so we don't get blown by, and we need to take that space back on that second dribble. Okay? So we get back to him. Oh, that's pretty good, fellas. Nice shot, nice shot. Can we go a couple more? Drop, run. Not bad, not bad. Good. Can we go, come on. Good, good. Drop, run. Nice job, nice job. Not bad, not bad. That's okay. You ready to drop, Seth? You ready to drop? Alright, good. Now, let's go offense right here on this orange arm. Okay, kind of face it. You're going to go on the yellow one. Alright, so if I have the ball here, okay. Uh, I'm sorry, stay away from it. That's my fault. A little closer to the three line. Okay, now, I'm going to toss it. Okay? You can go either direction. Alright? Can't shoot yet, but you can go either direction. Your job is to try to close out and contain and keep him out of the paint. Okay? So we're here. Ready? Now, don't stare at me. You got to see both. Here we go. One. Not bad. Keep him out of that paint. Here we go again. Again. Stance, chest up. All right, not bad way to recover. That's a good negative step to save your hips. Get all, uh, let's go one step in front of the three line. In front of the three line. There you go. Ready? In stance. Come on. Boom. Hey, offensively, you guys, let's be decisive, right? You're either going base or you're going middle, but let's do it. All right, let's get moving. Let's get moving. Here we go, right? In stance. Close out. Boom. Run. You can get some paint. Get some paint. All right. Here we go. Ready? Run, run, catch up. Good, good, good. Ready to go on the catch here. All right, okay. Good. Good to work. Way to recover. Way to recover. Here we go. Keep it in front. Good, good. Good. All right, hold, 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 hold. Scoot front through. You got to go close out. Here we go. Ready? Okay, now, so why did we get beat there? Well, we got beat there because we weren't ready to move our feet, okay? So we were here, and that pass got in front of my nose, and I was still here hanging out, okay? We want to arrive at the ball handler on the catch, okay? So we want to meet the ball at the catch for the, for the offensive player. Does that make sense? All right, who's up? Here we go. Meet the ball, meet the ball, meet the ball. Go. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Here we go. Get back up, get back up. Yeah. Here we go, come on, come on. Ready? Close out. Talk on our close out now. Alright, that's my fault. We got to talk on those close outs. Here we go, go, go. Nice shot. You ready to run? You got to get back in the front. You got to get back in the front. Here we go, ready? Run. Good, good. Continue to get back in front. Run, 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 run. Alright, not bad. No score. Here we go. Rip. Good. Nice, 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 nice. One more, one more. Here we go. Good. Good, good. Okay. Now, we're on the elbow. Okay, now this time, uh, I'm going to take one dribble at the defense. Okay? Your stunt recovery rules will be based on your program. Okay? I'll just tell you what I like. When I'm attacking at that offense or at that defender, I want my guys to stunt when the ball hits the floor. Okay? So I want your right foot and your right hand to come to me when the ball hits the floor. To me. Okay? Because if you go here, it's not even taking back. Okay? So we're just stunt. Right to me. Right? Okay. Good. Okay? The reason I want them to do it when the ball hits the floor is so that I can't do anything with it offensively. If he's stuck while the ball hits, now I can't pass until he gets back to me, and that gives him the time he needs to recover. Okay? So, we're going to go stunt and recover, and it's live. Okay? I'll show you something here in a second. Ready? 
Okay, now stop. So, here's what happened there. Where were you looking the whole time? At me, right? Okay, so when we're here, right, and we stare, now that is this right here, this chin here, and staying here is what leads to us getting to be in the middle. Okay, so I'm here and I stunt and I go close out and I end up running back and not seeing it and then getting gutted in the middle. Okay, right out of that stunt, boom, I want you to find your guy. Okay, so right out of that stunt, you're done, right? Because the ball's being driven at us, guys, we need to be going where? Back towards our guy, right? Now maybe that's stunt, but then we're back. We're not worried about the ball anymore, okay? You're worried about him. The help is going to come from that backside. We, I call this sliding on the drive, okay? So we slide on the drive and everybody comes to the ball. So you, if you were on D, would come this way a little, and you'd be going out to the ball, okay? So when we stunt here, we'll stunt, you can see the ball, but then right as you start to go, find your guy, okay? Here, ready? Okay, now, that's a situation where we just stayed in our stunt a little long, right? We're just trying to make them fix. So it's here and you know, Okay, quickly out of that stunt. Quickly out of that stunt. Here we go, here we go. Ready? Okay. Is that as hard as you can go? Huh? No, right? So now you're doing him a disservice because you're not going as hard as you can go. I know you can go harder. I know Steph Curry goes harder than that, right? Okay, let's do that again. Let's do that again. Go back. Don't take it easy on. Here we go. Ready? Stop. Recover. It's not bad. Good. If you can beat him, beat him. Right? Uh, let's open it up a little bit here. If you can beat him to the rim, you can go beat him to the rim. You can go finish. So if you can get inside the paint to the baseline, or you can get inside this blue line in the middle, you can shoot him. Alright? Let's see how much harder you guys go with this. Here we go. Ready? Boom. Now stop. Okay? You, there's no chance you get back there. Right? Because you were here and you took two steps towards me. Right? That foot is just a quick bang and back. Okay? One step and then go stare at him right after your left foot hits the ground. Here we go. Right after that left foot hits. Oh, fine. Not bad. Not bad. Good forward. Here we go. Here we go. See you both. Oh. Right. Good. Alright. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Remember, defensively, what are we trying to put ourselves in a position to do? Just contest, right? So you just got to find a way to get back in front of him. When I say contest, you can't contest from the side, okay? We've got to contest with our body back between the ball and the basket, or the offensive player and the basket, okay? If you can get to there, I'm pretty sure we can get stops, okay? Now, obviously, we still don't want to let him get down here. But right now, let's just really lock in on making sure we can contest everything. If he's going to the basket here, I'm not contesting from here. I'm going to foul from here. Okay? I want to get here and contest. Right? And now he's just got to score over. And that's tough. Right? Not for him, apparently, but that's tough for everybody else. You all right? Stunt. Now get back. I'm back. Okay? Don't stare. Don't stare. Move your eyes. Move your eyes. Stunt. Now get back. Good. Nice shot. Nice shot. Good shot. Here we go. Okay, so we got beat middle there again for the same reason as before. We just got below that top foot, right? So if he's got the ball here, I get below this foot, I'm getting close, I'm getting beat middle back. Okay, remember guys, we want to close out here and take away that middle of the floor with that top foot. Okay, we'll talk about angle, or we can talk about angles when you close out. Alright, but right now let's just try to force him to that baseline side. Here we go, here we go, ball, ball. Okay. Good, good. Here we go, here we go. Uh, let's change it up. Alright, now I want you on the ball. Okay, get on the ball. So right now, he's on the ball here. Okay, eyes are up. Alright, you're moving your feet, squaring him up. Okay, he's going to pass the ball to me at the top. When he passes the ball to me at the top, I want you to try and get a tip. Okay? So if you go take my spot for me. I'm right here, I'm framing that ball. I'm framing that ball, and now as he makes that pass, I'm going to try and get that tip. Okay? It shouldn't happen very often, but we're going to try and get what? Where's that hit? 
It gets me right to my gap between the ball and my defender, right where I want to be. Okay? Right to my gap. Now, I'm in my gap, so I'm there before he catches the ball. So I'm discouraging his drive by getting there early. Right? Getting the ball. So before he catches it, go ahead. I need to leave my gap. So he sees me and he knows he's not coming this way. Okay? Now on the drive, go ahead. Boom, we're going to cut here. And then as we go out, we should be staring where? At the guy, right? So as you're going now, I want you to throw this hand up. Okay? Maybe you get a tip. It's a blind cut. You probably don't. Well, he's already wondering how he's going to get the ball. Okay? So we're just trying to mess with that offensive player's timing a little bit into the catch. Right? Even if we don't get anything, he's not going to be very comfortable to catch and shoot if I throw this hand up. It also will help us get to that high side if you're baseline push. If you're middle push, your principles are going to be a little bit different anyway. Okay? Let's try that. Let's rough that out. Cut both passes. Hand up. Good. Cut it. Good. Oh, cut it again. All right. Okay, here we go. I don't need it. You do. Up on, move your feet. Cut that pass now. That's better. Stop for cut. Remember to cut that last one. Good. Try and get a steal both times. Try and get a steal both times. Try and get a tip. There you go. Stop for cut. That's good. One more. You cut, throw it up. Roll that right hand up. You gotta do it until somebody throws that inside here and the second pass. Here we go. Try and cut the first one. Good. Good there. Try and get this steal too. Good. Ah. Good. Remember, you're getting beat there on the stump, right? Don't go too far to the stump. Let the help come from the back side. Here we go. Good job, good job. Okay, let's see one more. Cut that second pass. Good, cut that second pass. Oh, hey. All right, good. That's a tough concept. But again, we want to try and get blind tips as much as we can. Any way we can mess with that offense's rhythm is a win for us. Okay? Now, I spent a little bit more time on that than I planned. We're going to a little bit of team defense stuff here. Okay, I want to talk about navigating screens first. My, uh, my college coach had saying that good players don't get screened. I can't tell you how many times I heard that. I still got screened, but I can't tell you how many times he told me good players don't get screened. Right? It's just an effort thing. Okay? You don't allow yourself right, to get touched. Okay? So we're going to start with a down screen. Right? So let's go. Uh, you guys are there fine. You guys all over here. Here we go. Come on. Please put the balls up there. All of you, we're just going offense for right now. Out there. No, we're not. Okay, you're on D. Yeah, just on D. Okay, so now we're going to talk here, and you're going to be up on the ball. Okay, I need an offensive defense there as well, kind of right on that bottom hatch. Doesn't matter who, I need mean, two guys. That's fine. Okay, so we'll try and cut that pass again to the high side. Go ahead. Go. All right, now everybody should be in their gap. Okay, now we're going to come set a down screen. All right, so you're going to come, and you're going to come set a screen here. All right, now for you, what, right now you're in trouble because you couldn't see the ball, right? Okay, so when we're in this spot, let's talk screeners, defenders first. We always want to maintain vision of the man and the ball, right? You lose vision of this ball, we're giving up a slip right away, okay? We're always going to have vision on our man and the ball, all right? So you're going to come down now. Stop right there. Set it right there. Okay? You are going to get to the level of the screen. So defensively, we're going to get to the level and be inside of it. Right? I think that's pretty obvious why. Okay, but we do want to give, I like to be up to touch. Because I want to give him an option here in case he gets in trouble. I just said good play, you guys back. Okay, I just said good players don't get screened, right? Okay? But a lot of good players will skate through. It's not a dumb deal that if he goes here, that I can get through. So I want to still have a little, sorry about that. I want to still have an option to get through that gap. Okay, so we're going to give a little bit of space. All right, so we are, we have vision at the level of the screen, we're up to touch, and then if he curls, we're ready to switch, okay? Those are the three principles I would tell you as a guy guarding a down screen, right? Be at the level of the ball with vision, 
Uh, be up to touch, and then be ready for the switch. Let me step back here real quickly, because there's one other thing um, about kind of clearly identifying roles that I didn't talk about in transition defense. You want to clearly identify roles and who's going to communicate how you're guarding the screen. Okay? Because those miscommunications happen when we aren't on the same page. I like to have the screener dictate how we're guarding. Okay? So whether that's a down screen, cross screen, up screen, flare screen, back screen, down screen, uh, ball screen, whatever. I don't care what kind of screen it is, you've got to have someone that decides who's going to call the action. Right? And then the other guy just lives and dies. So this guy, if he's calling the action, this guy knows I'm staying no matter what until I hear switch. And then we can work on our switch actions. Okay? But this guy then has a very clear role. Stay with your guy. Right? Now this guy has the read. Instead of trying to make them guess which one's going to do which, we want to have a clearly identified rule of who is identifying or who is deciding how we are going to guard that screen. We're not going to worry about that right now because I'm not going to try and get you guarded in a bunch of different ways. Okay? Now, as the guy guarding the cutter, okay? as the guy guarding the cutter, we are going to lock and trail. So you are going to get onto his inside hip here, and you are going to trail him through that screen. Now, the next part here that I call an LJ step, that's just because of the kid that did it really well. Um, but really what we're trying to do here is if I feel like I'm going to get chipped, then I'm going to take a quick step out, and then I'm going to try and step back in. Okay? Just so that I can not, uh, or I'm sorry, so I can avoid that screen again. I'd rather have you have to go out a little bit and not get touched than run into that screen. Okay? So the first part there is that we get into that.